Shout out Corner Times. I'd like to say shout outs to my number one fan and supporter, my wife. Congratulations on getting that new project and thank you for supporting me. And TGJ, Kirito All Star, Orochi Chris, Osman Goni, thank you for the comments. Leviana, Mark the Lone Gamer, Katsura, Spooky, thank you for the comment, guys. Shiro Pendragon, Felipe Vasquez, Van One Channel, Joshua Salen, thanks for the comments. A, Towser Benevolent, PvP Wolf, Tom Andrews, thanks for the comments. Asterixter, Chrono Legionnaire, Fazil Rabi, Rice Balls, thank you for the comments. And shoutouts to Orochinagi Oyaji, The Big Review, Senpai Rai, and Dark Ren. Keep making content, guys. And please, subscribe to 2300 Gaming. Click that subscribe button down below. And always comment on this video to be featured on my next shoutout corner. Let me hear your opinions with regards to this video. And always like, comment, and hit the bell icon for further notification about this uh, channel. I also do live streams, so hit that bell and click all. Let's start the video now. Hi guys, welcome back. This is 2300 Gaming again, bringing another King Fighters All Star content straight from the hospital. I'm currently on my break, so I'm gonna be showing you Lolly Chang what I had uh, in the Lolly Chang roulette. But before, like while we're doing that in the background, we're just gonna be addressing the elephant in the room, wherein people are always like, not always like people like up are up in arms uh, the player base is up in arms with the new data mine that they found out that the vip system would be implemented in the game we're like just put it in a grain of salt we're not quite sure if that's gonna be true because some of the data mines are not that accurate they're not really releasing it so some people were hearing like okay netmarble will the dev team will be releasing um, awaken level 10 so as of now we haven't seen that one yet it might come but like we 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 can't really contemplate on what's gonna be happening in the future okay what are what the important thing is what is now okay so the thing is that vip system if you don't know about the vip system like it incentivizes players who spent a little bit or more in the game itself okay so they give them exclusive gifts so that's usually what happens in some other gacha games they put in implement in the vip system same as like in the marble future fight that's uh, netmarble's ip as well so netmarble has the marble future fight wherein they have a vip for that one as well so they're telling it might be implemented in this one as well so yeah i got another lo a, lo a loli chang that's good i got a loli chang there so so the thing with that is they can address this one in a good way or in a bad way so let's address the bad way of doing things if netmarble makes a really big big mistake on this uh, vip if they're gonna be releasing it and they make it like um we're in some of the exclusive content will be exclusively being given to the vip holders that's gonna be a really really bad uh look on netmarble within with regards to this game okay so i suggest because the thing is like the pay to win and the free to play in this game is blurry okay i really love this game because like it's it's not a matter if you're free to play or pay to win if you have the skills and you have the if you're practicing your game in like championship for example that's the best example of like uh, if you're free to play you can beat a whale or a pay to win player if you have the skills to do so and if you have the cards to do so as well because like this one is still rng based like a whale player can whale out and get lots of things while a free to play player can get those things if he gets really lucky so that's just the difference of like whaling out from a free to play so the free the whale the the people who whale out has more chances of getting that items compared to the free to play which are just like uh waiting for the for the luck to come in and hard work to save for that rubies and get the cards that they want to get it's the same as the whales they're also like they're doing their hard work plus they're donating to the game as well by spending money so that they can get the items that they want so yeah so don't i don't really um the whales are all always welcome like <laughs> like really the whales are the one who's keeping this game afloat but the free to play players are the ones giving in introducing the games to other players because the thing is like there's gonna be a few whales in the ocean but there's gonna be lots of small fishes in the sea so that's just gonna be the the highlight of the like just imagine like king of fighters also is a big ocean so big whales are in the ocean but it's just like a chosen few of the big whales are there so you need a big player base just to exp like put that content out there to let them know that king of fighters all-star is existing by the small fishes and with that small fishes if they might like the game to a point 
they might also spend a little bit just to support the game because they love the game okay so it's really good like free to play and pay to win go hand in hand they can't like the the free to play players can't be angry with the whales so don't really this the whales telling them but like oh they're just spending and spending and spending that's why they're getting strong not in this game okay so i hope with the vip system they don't give exclusive items to the people who spend a lot because there are gonna be a big gap there's gonna be a big gap between the free to play and pay to win if they do that okay i think that uh, they can implement this in the right way by giving incentivizing the vip players more resources more resources okay not exclusive things okay more resources for them to have like a uh, free uh fest selector or fest tickets that and then rubies because that's what they can like uh, that's gonna be a good reward for the people who spend the game is to give back so the dev team can give back to them by the use of the vip system if you're spending you should get some incentives within or rewards for what you did so yeah i think that's the only thing that I, i'm not really against that so incentivizing the people who spend by giving them extra resources but not giving them exclusive things so that the free to play and pay to win has still equal footing within this game okay that's just my two cents on that okay so i, I think that's the best direction that they can go to okay the problem with like if Netbarwell did it bad if they put exclusive things on the VIP. So it's gonna be like you're if you really love the game, you're gonna be like uh, clamoring to spend so that you can get those exclus exclusive things, which is not really not really a good look. So I suggest same as shoutouts to the big review there. He made a a video earlier regarding to what his opinion of this with regards to the VIP. So I agree with him a hundred percent. So they can't really put exclusive things in that vip system or else the gap between the free to play and pay to win will be huge okay because like how about the free to play they can't really get that content because like it's exclusively for the vips so you're forcing them to spend even though if they don't want to so that's not really a good way of doing things so if you really like the game if you spend that's the time they incentivize you with the vip and give you much more resources than compared to the free to play but don't give exclusive things so exclusive content because i'm hearing it i'm hearing that they're gonna be putting the ss and bs memories on the vips which is i think it's not really a good thing to do it should be like you can get free to play can get that in a certain way that they can grind it in the game okay I, I think that they should do that okay don't put i'm stressing it out net marble please don't put exclusive things in the vip just give them more resources and reward them for what they did because they've spent a little bit in this game okay and i also also agree with the big review that like for example the people who wailed out previously they should be incentivized because like they're gonna be putting the vip system in the middle or in the middle of this game but like it should be included beforehand okay so that when people were like wailing out previously at on the early stages they should be rewarded and reciprocated for what they did okay it's just like cause and effect so if i spent the effect would be they should be rewarding me with what i did so the problem is like it might not they might not be rewarded because like they're just releasing the vip system in the middle of the game they should be incentivized okay netmarble should should know about this because like most likely they have the the receipt of all of the people who spent in this game so they can incentivize the people there as well by giving them like extra vip access so that's just me so um uh, again my background is like when i played this game that's why i made a youtube channel in this game because i feel that this king of fighters all star is one of those very few gacha games that blurs the lines of free to play to pay to win okay because you need skill here you need skill especially in championship you need skill even though you have lots of cards even though you have decked out characters because there's in championship everything is balanced unlike in the imprint stone week that's why they're dividing the championship into a whale championship and then a regular championship that's why so that they can please the people who's who spent a little bit so that they can see their progress if they've spent a lot and they they've upgraded their characters to the max or like five star them that's why there's a like a whale championship and a regular championship that's to appease 
the free to play and pay to win which is what it's in the right direction okay because the thing is like the safe haven for free to play players here is the championship unfortunately they need to fix the net code because like i'm really lucky that i can play championship without that much issues and i'm really happy with regards to that one and i, I can push content for that people can see that the pvp i think is the best for me because i'm a pvp player here in king of fighters altar all star is the best content here in this game okay because you can use all of your characters and you can fight strong people even though you're free to play you can still compete okay just now like just recently i've just spent a little bit on this game because i'm really happy with this game um i spent like 20 euros or so with the subscription and all but previously when when i didn't spend i went to top 40 without even spending okay top 40 without even spending and like yeah you can like also in the imprint stone week like if you just farm um the seven knights they will give you a, like stones you, if you put them at like awaken level three you can use your envelopes and if you have your delons your eileen's your racials you can make them awaken level three using the envelopes because they're a collab which is you can use the envelopes to awaken them compared to the bs characters and the ss characters with that you have three or four characters that you can compete in pvp so while well, in the imprint stone week so yeah and then if you have a strong guild you can go into the guild raid and get those stones to give your characters like your regular fighters good stones and hammers as well you can get a lot so net marble is really kind enough they're giving us lots of things lots of events to accumulate and build our resources to have upgrade to so that we can upgrade all of our characters so i thank net marble and i thank this really 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 good game king of fighters all-star because like for me i stand by my opinion that this is the best fighting gacha game in android and ios okay because like the free to play and pay to win um the line between them gets blurred in this game okay because that's why i made a youtube content youtube channel here especially for this game mainly on this game because i feel like i can compete even though i don't like i didn't spend anything it's my first time like first time in my <laughs> In the history of my life playing games on the mobile that i reached top 40 or top 5 as a free-to-play player you can't really do that in any other games just pointing it out guys okay so i hope you don't really like complain too much it's still in the works it might not come out like because like people are blocking that so like yeah you just play the game enjoy the game for what it is and then when it comes in that's the time we'll cross the bridge when we get there okay so again uh, with that said I hope like this game for me guys like just play the game okay enjoy the game as it is because like even if you're free to play like I know lots of free to play are arguing that it's not gonna be a good uh, implementation of the VIP system but like I feel like I have trust in the dev team if they're gonna be putting the VIP system here they're not gonna make exclusive content for that VIP um, players okay so I hope you like this video like and subscribe again as you see earlier i had lolly chang two twice in the roulette <laughs> but i didn't get a hat trick and yeah so that's it i hope you like this video like and subscribe again this 2300 gaming so again guys just play just play normally don't let let it sink into your head don't think about it too much it's just like yeah okay so again this 2300 gaming if you like this video like and subscribe and I'm out. See you later, guys. Peace out.